Hello and welcome to 7 News. My name is Joel Leifa and today, or should I say tonight, we will be continuing with research on the lunar eclipse. And now to our reporter Dylan Sampson with the report. Thanks Joel, I am going to interview Dr. Falange who has been researching on lunar eclipses for most of his life. Dr. Falange, what is your research so saying? Firstly, all my research is based on astronomy. No, but my question is, why is this lunar eclipse staying in our atmosphere, and does this change our and does this change our climate? This lunar eclipse is causing a massive effect on us, and it is happening because of the toxic pollution that we have created. It is ripping holes in in the ozone layer, which is making which is affected our gravity field, and has completely stuffed up the moon. Thanks, Doc. Back to you, Joel. Well, another news now, it's Jack the Dancing Bear's birthday. Remember to send letters. Now back to the lunar eclipse. All the other, all the animals have escaped from the National Zoo and they're causing all sorts of mayhem. Here is Chantel Lee with the report. Thank you, Joel. I am about to interview an outraged mum. What is your point of view in this madness, Sally? This is outrageous! I am blaming the government and the zoo. No. With their faulty cages, no. there's barely enough room for a mouse. Well, how are the animals affecting your life, Sally? Well, I have three children. One of them is here, age five, being chased by a lion. Help. Now that is definitely an issue. Well, do you think you have done a good job of not making any pollution? Because it looks like you've dumped all your rubbish on your picnic area. That's why the lunar eclipse isn't going away. Well, firstly, it's not my picnic area. And secondly, when the wind blew, all the trash cans were knocked over. <gasps> so none of this mess is my fault! Mom. Strong words for a mother of three. Back to you, Joel. Well, I believe that Chantelle has a busy day today because she will now interview a five-year-old girl for a younger opinion. Over to you, Chantelle. Well, I have to admit, Joel, I do have a busy day, but not as busy as Dr. Falange's. Now I'm going to interview the five-year-old that got chased by a lion. <laughs> Stop! What is your point of view, little girl? Well, I think every person should clean up their rubbish so it's not dark again. Well, I think that this interview was worth doing. Back to you, Joel. Thank you, Chantelle. Well, I guess this terror continues. Our next Frank. update will be at 10 o'clock. See you then. Frank. Where's the Frank? Cut. <laughs> <laughs>